Welcome back to Knights HQ Podcast, the official podcast of the NIB Newcastle Knights. I'm your host, Jay Nelson. With me, as always, is my guy, Matt Croker. We've got a big one today, brother. That's a big. That's a big. It's a fish. big one. This is a. This is as big as the fish. Yeah, yeah this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the old stable, mate. We've been here a couple of times. Yeah. He's done a few of these. Mm. Still get nervous. Still get nervous. Be great, mate. Kalen Ponga. Thanks, Kalen J Ponga. Welcome here he back. is. You still don't rep the headphones when we do podcasts. Nah, because I hate hearing myself talk. I start okay. to think about it, and then I start. S- yeah, you get caught yeah. in your own head, don't you? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Normalized I'm not wearing excited headphones as well. I think yeah. that adds to it. You are yeah. keen. You're here early. <sighs> I'm always early. Yeah. What I'm track good. were you playing when we walked in? Drake. Um, look, look alive. I think yep. is that yeah. the. Is that the current song? Is that the current Drake's, one? Drake's the current. Yeah, he's always on repeat. Yeah, he's, he's always mm. there, isn't he? Yeah. What's your, is that? What is your favourite song at the moment? Mine's Nine Ball by Zach Bryan. Um, I know the name of it. I don't. I mean, sorry. I know. I know the song. I just don't know the name. Yeah. But if we can just get it, like, oh, yep, can do that. Yeah. We, we can do that. Yep. Just, Jimbo, just get it up on the screen. Yeah. Well, we so don't we know what it is. Home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, you got to tell us what it is. I'll show you after. No, we don't know what to put that. I'll show you after. Yeah, All right. sweet. All right, we got you. You can get it up now, while Jay. What's, what's yours, JJ? Um, I have been listening to a band called Bleachers, which right. is um, Jack Antonoff. He is. Oh, I know Jack Antonoff. Yeah, he, he won. won Del Rey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big producer, so he's won like the best producer at the Grammys, like three years in a row or something. But he's got his own band, and uh, it's just very cool. Yeah. What have we got? It's called Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's called Mm-hmm <laughs> by Big X The Plug. Right. Yes. All right, so we'll put that down. All right, bang. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I just mm-hmm. got a quick one. While we're on the topic of music, yeah. you know the song Mr. Brightside, right? Yes. Yes. So the song is actually about a bloke getting cheated on by his partner. Okay. I don't know if you've ever pieced that together, but you know how most songs, right, they'll go verse? Yeah. Chorus? Yeah. Different verse same chorus sort yeah, of yeah. like in that order yeah, yeah yeah if you go and listen to mr brightside it goes verse chorus exact same verse exact same chorus i'm not yeah, i'm not okay. joking the lyrics, the lyrics just repeat themselves very creative you know okay they don't they don't change yeah oh here's one for that yeah. too so when what's the story morning glory had like that's 25th anniversary yeah, well, it's a yeah, story. yeah, yeah uh, oasis album uh, Noel Gallagher, who wrote all the songs, goes, yeah. you can tell which songs that we had heaps of time for and the ones we didn't have time for because the ones we didn't have time for, the verse is the same, both verses. Oh, so, so they just did the same He's thing. like, bugger it, just sing the same thing again and it'll be fine. That's exactly yeah. what they do. <laughs> yeah, right. So it happens exactly a lot, eh? Exactly what they do. Yeah, anyway. anyway. <laughs> Two pop culture um, yeah, yeah. geniuses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Heavy, yeah. Heavy. It's just the funny how like those guy, iconic man. songs... Oh, you don't even so notice weird. yourself singing the same thing twice. Yeah, you don't really know what you're singing. No. So you're singing about... His girlfriend yeah. going home with another man while he's in his bed and he, yeah. But if you That's put those I, lyrics over a banger, yeah, yeah, you yeah. forget about the emotion and off we go. How are yeah. you, Kay? <laughs> well, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good? real good. Yeah, no, everything's, everything's exciting at the moment, isn't it? Season's just come around. Wasn't the result we wanted, but I mean, we've got a whole season ahead of us, which I think is exciting. How was your pre-season? Pre-season was good. You know, the boys trained well. Um, got through the preseason well, no injuries. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good preseason. Fittest you've ever been? I think so. I think so. Yeah, I'd, I worked pretty hard last, sorry, the year before last to get fit, but I think I think this would probably be the fittest. And I'm not as heavy as what I was in 2023. Right. right From right. outside in, I reckon it's the most focused I've seen, Kalen. This most preseason. Dialed I've ever seen. Yeah, dialed in, man. Just enjoying it. I think yeah. off the back of last year, I think I did really well at figuring out the recipe to what makes me, you know, tick and yeah. come in here every day excited. And um, now that I know what that is, yeah. um, that's probably why I, f- I am that way. You yeah. know what I mean? You've I, kind of cut the fat, you know it works. Yeah, yeah. Bang. Do you yeah. care to share that recipe or is that your own thing? Oh, it's Because sometimes it's a bit weird. Mine's a little bit weird, what I think works for me. Yeah. Oh, it's, it it would be different Quirky, for everyone. yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I think working with Jared last year, it, it just – he emphasised a lot. It's you're a human first, you're a person first, away from footy, um, and I think that's important. And we forget that. Um, so a lot, a lot of the time, to be honest, just away from footy, I do whatever I want and whatever gives me energy. Um, nothing like extreme. Like I'm not going to go and you know skateboarding like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like ride bikes. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, do yeah. All that yeah, sort of stuff. Yeah. But um, I, 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 I'm a little bit more golf. In, 
Bit of golf. Bit of golf. Golf's back. That's not too. I guess golf's back. That's golf is back. Golf's back. In a, in not in a bad way, but it's <laughs> definitely oh, there. It was, it was back. A bit, a bit <laughs> gloomy there. We're for a slippery bit. slope was, into yeah. bad thing. <laughs> I get obsessed with things really quickly. Oh, heavy. Um, he gets he gets hackos on it. And there's oh, no yeah. competitiveness between you and Bailey. Oh, oh, house, mate. None yeah, of a little shout out. Um, <laughs> what are we sitting at now? What's the cap at? The handicap. Um, I'm I'm six. I'm Jeez. off six at the moment. Just a casual. Is that six? At what course? No, so that, that would be my that's my GA, okay. and then depending on which course you okay. go to, it'll vary. So what would be the for us mere models? Yeah. Six is a six is dream, bro. Six, yeah, is, yeah. six, is, six is good, man. I'm sitting comfy. <laughs> I need six shots for three holes. <laughs> 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 I'm rank. I'm rank. Um, all right, mate. We'll, we'll get into it. We're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the little segment we call it Insta Deep Dive. So we're going to bring up a couple photos from your Instagram. Yeah. Now Can you pretty, see those? It's a pretty cool place, your Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I've noticed you've just changed your profile picture Changed my as profile well. picture. You like it? Flowers. Yeah, the flowers. So Quite tell us a, tell us a little bit about this first That's our one. first one. So I'll talk about so the Instagram pic. So <laughs> my, sorry, my um, profile picture. So during the preseason, it was me training. Yeah. I had my head on. Right. Oh, uh, we're, we're in season now. I'll just fr- add a bit of fruit to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry, sorry, just on the dialed thing, is that why blokes do the celebration? They enter the phone and slam it down. Is that what it means? Dialed? Dialed uh, in? That, that tennis the player. tennis player did. Yeah. Or um, I'm not a- sure. a- answering the call of expectation. Oh. Maybe. But like. But also, this is what I do. Yeah, but then they're hanging it up. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And now I've had enough. <laughs> I've, I've yeah. got my own issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Tell us about that photo, mate. Um, so, this first photo. Uh, oh, no, it'll, be okay. okay. uh, it'll be up sorry. on the screen. It'll be up on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry. Um, this first photo is um, my beautiful mother who's always supported me. Um, that was our first. Uh, end of year awards, Dally M Awards. Um, pretty crazy year for me. Just a just a young kid that probably didn't really realise what he was doing at the time on the field. Yeah. Um, but to have mum there support me, it was a night. It was a night that you know I thought I might have won. Um, but regardless, regardless of that, it was still nice to take her because yeah. she's you know supported me for so long. Is that 2018? 2018. Yeah. Would, did that classify as your rookie season? No, nah, I played. S- Six games the year before, uh, and then two games the year before that. Right, so uh, you were like just out of that rookie. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. would have been one of the great rookie seasons. Yeah, that. It yeah. Was, yeah, and that was what, what just like clipped 20, by two of us a check eight. Twenty eighteen. So that was so like, yeah. how long ago was that? Six, um, six, six years. Six years ago. Yeah. So and then, six years ago now. Yeah. Fast forward and so have, yeah, five fast forward five years. What's up? Mum, mum comes to the next one, which is special. Yeah. Um. That that time you got beat by Sheck, you actually he only just clipped you, but you missed the last five games, didn't you? I missed I missed the last two or three, I think. Um, Close. Yeah, it, like and I and yeah, I could have played the last two. The club chose to pull me out of those last two or three. Um, but who's to know what what happens in those games anyway? Yeah, exactly. To yeah, again, I probably didn't realize. You know, like this time around, you know, I've won it now. Yeah. yeah. And to be standing up there with the names on that board, yeah. you probably back then I didn't really realise what I was doing or yeah. you know, the company that I had around me. So do you I appreciate it a lot more now yeah. and understand it a bit more. Do you miss parts of being slightly naive? Like oh, just out there. Parts in yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Though? Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> but you, oh, like you, <laughs> but you know, just I've like, still got parts. In oh. me. But you know what I mean? Like when yeah. you're a young bloke, you're just playing and going off sort of instinct, and you're not really worrying about the other things that come where you've got you know mm. a, a lot more sort of runs on the board, and you're a bit of a, you know you've gone through your career a little bit, mm. a few more years. You've got you've got no scars at this point. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're fresh. Everything's new. Every away trip's new. Every team's new. Yeah, y- you've got no scars. And then each, I-, I guess, over the years, I don't know if it's whether you put expectations on yourself, but you do have those scars. And um, it was probably something I worked on last year. Was just going back to enjoying footy. Yeah. Um, again, getting everything right from Monday to Friday so I could perform on the weekend. But uh, when you're young, you've got no scars. Yeah. So that's the easy part of it. But. It is about going back to being young and just enjoying your footy. It's kind of cool, though, like you mentioned that you've, you know, developed your mental to 
go back to some of those things that you're feeling as a young player yeah. and you end up winning the Dally M that year. Like it's it's a cool link, you know, for both of those successful years. Hair looks good there. Yeah, a bit different. I've definitely yeah. I think my hair now definitely got a my mum would definitely agree this. I know what you're about I know what you're about to say. I was yeah, knew you were gonna say that. Maybe it's a filter. <laughs> Maybe it's glowing off the carpet or something, I reckon. Yeah. Burgundy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's burgundy. Tries yeah. To play. <laughs> yeah. Everything everything back then was so easy. Like yeah. and it's, it it probably put me in a false my, mindset for a couple of years there. Here's <laughs> a good one. Oh. Here's a good one. Holy dooly smoke show. <laughs> <laughs> Holy two two battlers. <laughs> <laughs> just, just trying their best on the gram there. I reckon. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing. Like. I don't know what we're two. Do you want it? Two blokes. We're a couple of Mayfield. Where's it at? Park. Do you remember? Mayfield. Um, yeah. This is back in the day where oh we would just. I don't know. Go. I don't know what we would do. Oh, hey, yeah. just chill out. Just literally, yeah. just chill out. Take what photos. year was this? This was a, when Texi and I were taking a lot of photos. So yeah, yeah. We would just go anywhere yeah. really and do that. Um, this has got two five seven house hangout. Yeah, this is written all over old, it. This Isn't has got the young days on all over it. But how, yeah. How how did we meet? The first time was at Mucho's at that um is Darkies. It yeah. Darkies. At Darkies. Um, just met three mutual friends, didn't we? Yeah. And then just slowly I think that there was a Byron trip that we went on, <laughs> which was probably <laughs> That really set it off. From what I can <laughs> from what I can remember. <laughs> no, nah, that was that was probably the the first real that was uh, our first trip, trip together yeah for us to because we didn't really know each other but like nah. the the blow our mutual mates we were so close with mm. either side of them yeah and then we went good on this bunch. trip but it was a good fun night uh, a good group and and a real uh, good group been on a few ever since haven't we we've been on a couple oh, we're a, couple a bit weird there we're trying a bit hard now <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, kid, we're kids mate we don't really <laughs> yeah. care it's just well you're thing. probably what 20 and that's, i'd be maybe that's normal 18. for me yeah i'd be 18 19 <laughs> Oh, I'm trying hard. Huh? What's <laughs> doing? What are we up to? Here we go. This Here we go. Oh, Just that. a steady thirty-one thousand on that <laughs> one before. Yeah, can you 000. see light work? This is me. This is me, girl. Yeah, this is me little girl. Um, she's a dog. Just oh, like, yeah. she's a yeah. dog. Yeah. Sorry, watching. yeah. This, yeah, <laughs> this is my little. For them that can't see it, yeah, yeah this is my sage. puppy sage. Um, I think like most things I do, it's pretty like sporadic and spontaneous, and I. I did kind of get her, you know, when I got back from Canada, my, my best mate BJ was working away. I was a little bit yeah. alone, yeah, yeah, yeah. but she's honestly been the best thing that, um, or well not has happened to me, but she's just added so much to my life. Yeah. I love her so much. She's such a good dog. Everyone loves her. Having a dog's the best, mm. man. She it's is the best. A good dog. She's too. a good yeah. dog. <laughs> when, when you compare, when you compare her to a couple other dogs, we know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, Jaden Brails. I just his dog did Freddy number twos all over his house, <laughs> and I hope Brails hears this because <laughs> I am trying to embarrass him <laughs> and Freddy. Um, but yeah, no, she's awesome. Yeah, we love her. Not mentioning any names, <laughs> you're a real problem. But they, they do reflect <laughs> their yeah. they do no, reflect no. their owners, don't, don't they? <laughs> Brails is just shitting all over the house, whereas KP is just nice and. Calm. Where does Brixton add? Oh, uh, no. where, where's Brixton in the list? <laughs> Brixton is Br Bradman. Brix yeah. Br Brix is Braddy. Like yeah. Who a T? It's are, kind of yeah. funny how like a dog's owner like reflects their dog. Like that thing happens. Like yeah. it's, it's not. Brixton probably look the same. <laughs> Oh, Sage is calm, like yeah, like yeah, me, I'd yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone likes Sage. She's <laughs> <laughs> nice and cute. Everyone likes Kay. He's a bit cute. Whereas like Bradman, like Brixton, like, oh. like yeah. everyone's like a bit like whoa around him. Like holy, yeah. he's st he's a little staunch dog. Yeah, but deep down he's big softy. Yeah, he's big yeah. softy. Yeah. Every time yeah. we walk in the house, he's there whining at the door when mm. we get let in. Yeah, it's yeah. Freddie. Freddie um, <laughs> Nerd dot com. <laughs> Brails. <laughs> we love your brails. <laughs> oh, I cannot <laughs> wait to get brails on. Yeah. Yeah. And cannot he loves wait. that. He loves that he dog. Oh, is it the worst he thing loves he does? That dog. Well, he picks him up. It's a yeah. carve up on brails, <laughs> but he picks him up. If it's like hot concrete, yeah, yeah he'll pick he'll, the. Oh, really? Bro, it's a, yeah. oh. <laughs> a dog can walk on concrete, you know. <laughs> If he picks them up, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. To me, I find that a little. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Shout out, to, shout out to Brails. We shout love Brails. Brails. Yeah. Uh, this last photo, this one, yeah. uh, Disneyland, Disneyland. Yeah. So I think this was after the Rabbitohs game. Um, yeah, we we had been on a run. Our fans showed out. Uh, we put on a performance that we we're proud of. Disneyland is to a lot of people, I guess, a happy place. It's like. Lots of joy, happiness. I think that caption was fitting yeah. um, because that's 
that's what McDonald Jones is to us when we're performing. I was, was going to say, with all those people be. in there and what was going on at the time, it, it was, was like Disney's oh, castle. It, it was, was it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, we need to recreate that this year, though. Like, I think that's something that I don't know when this will come out. Hopefully, we we get the job done this weekend. But um, our first performance at home wasn't good enough, and we know that. Um, but we yeah, we need to recreate Disneyland. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, okay, that's enough for the. Oh, was that it? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's us. it, mate. That's that the is deep it. dive. Could have gone real deep and found some skeletons in the closet. <laughs> like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family show. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> there are. Oh, dude, you actually could. <laughs> Not that you should. Are you a, or are should you, go and look through are it. Mad, are you a mad deleter? Yeah. Um, you, I've deleted a few. Yeah. I've deleted, I like. Are you an archiver? I'm not an archiver. Not an archiver. I know. No, nah, I'm not an archiver because I don't think I'll bring them back. You know how what much, I mean? Once they're how gone, how much thought do you put into your to my, I, yeah. a fair bit? Yeah, I know I, you do. I, I, I know like, you do. I, I know you do. I'm, I'm big on captions. Heavy, yeah, heavy. I do think about, and I, I'm even aware of like when I should post. <laughs> Timing. No, 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 not like <laughs> no. More like around. Okay, so if we play on a Saturday, on a Friday, I'm probably not going to put out like a. A noise, uh, not a noisy post, but yeah, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, getting yeah, into yeah. games, trying to be a bit yeah, more, more a bit, yeah. That's yeah. what we're talking about, dialed, yeah, yeah, I'm a bit dialed after after a loss. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not gonna go post yeah, silly yeah. things, so yeah. that's that thoughtful, but I do like my caption. Do you want to yeah. do you want to give your next caption a run? Or uh, you just want to save it? You want to save it? I, I reckon Knights HQ save, exclusive, Caleb Fogger's next caption. No, because I hope I get to use it. Do you know the song Incredible Source? No, nice. I'm on me in the Champions League. He okay. should use that as his next caption, I reckon. Yeah, I do think of him. I think yeah, he does. <laughs> there in his notes. Well, it's almost as important as the photo. Oh, it, it, it can make a photo. Exactly. In right. my opinion. It's, yeah. It's, they go hand in hand. Isn't I notice what you do is, right, you use a lot of inside jokes. Yeah, 100%. Inside questions. And it's always one word. Yeah. And if you, get, if you know, you know if type you know, stuff. You know. Yeah. If you don't know, you think you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. <laughs> you don't actually know. Yeah. I'm a bit the opposite. I need to start putting a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so. Out no, yeah. I, do. I need there. to get out there. I'm fifty fifty with Kay's posts. Like, if I've given him a photo from a game or something, there's times where I go, "Yeah, I know where he's coming from with that," and there's yeah. times where I'm like, "Just happy to be here." <laughs> <laughs> Coming thumbs up. Yeah, man. Oh, Woo. <laughs> yeah. What is going on? <laughs> oh, that's good. Um, man, let's talk about it. End of last year. Dally M. Mm. Unreal. Yourself and Meek, same night. Is that the first time that's ever happened in the NRL? And NRL so, so. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely say so, so, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it is. Um, let's go through it, man. How was the night? You know, was there – when were you sitting there going – like these points are starting to rack up, you know, at the end of the year, like mm. I'm in with a chance here, like when, you know, um, talk us through it. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, it was a, it was a lovely night. My mum was there, obviously. Yeah. Um, had the coach there, teammates there. Yeah. Um, so I got to experience that with them. Um, well, oh, like, cause at the start I, I didn't play the first, you know, I missed six games or seven games. Yeah. And at the start, my name wasn't on the board. And obviously, as the rounds go on, it slowly starts to climb. And when I was on stage, um, Sean asked me, "How did you play in the last round or yeah. the Sharks round?" Yeah. And I, I, like, I knew I played. I did my role. Yeah, because it was a Sharks game. Because you actually missed the last, last round, yeah, which yeah. was the Dragons. Yeah. And I was like, well, I, I knew I did my role. Mm. Like, and I and I know I had a couple of moments that were nice, but um, I didn't know like if I was going to get there. And then um, to see the six pop up and yeah. my name slide up. Um, geez, I was a bit, I was a bit shocked uh, to be honest. And I think, um, oh, yeah, it was make of it, make it of what, what you will of it. Yeah. Um, but for, if it was either one of us, I can un completely understand. I thought yeah. we might've even shared it. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, um, I think this, that moment or, or winning Dali M, it's not something you really appreciate as a player in that moment because it's, everything's so team-based, everything's yeah. so... Well, I want the teams to, su to succeed more than my own success. I think when I retire and look back on history books, I'll be proud of it. Yeah. Um, well, I'm still proud of it, but um, yeah, you just base everything on the team success. Like, yeah. You never really go out there for the individual accolades. Um, yeah, that's something you can't more. Because yeah. it's, it is based on the team. Like, I can't do what I did last year without the team and the coaches and the club. Um, so, but the night was, was nice and to have my mum there, you know, five years apart from when my, we were first there, um, 
it was a little bit of a, a pat on the back, I guess, for the year that I had been through as well. Yeah. Has your life changed at all once receiving this? Like, has it gone up drastically and differently, do you think? I mean, you've always been a superstar, but now, like, you're in the books, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, has, it, has, there, has there been anything? Not really, hey, not, not overly. Um, like, I guess the only way it really could is in terms of off-field opportunities, and yeah. I've always – a bad habit of mine is was uh, over the couple of years, I'd has to always knock things back. Um, I guess sort of understanding where I am in the game now, I need to be open to those opportunities, and um, last year was probably the first year I was – really proud of my footy and the footy that I had played so um accepting things like uh, like not being too humble I guess to know like it's okay to accept these sort of things yeah. um but no nah, not really like I, I still expect pretty high standards for myself yeah. do you believe you can get better I think you ha- I think I have to evolve something I didn't do after that first year here was I just sort of I thought it was going to happen I thought you know I, I that <laughs> that whole year was I don't know if it was a fluke, but yeah. I definitely – everything was easy. You know, I was playing good footy on the weekend. We're going out every weekend. And we don't look at me, mate. Don't look <laughs> at me. Mate, <laughs> that was don't look at me. I was finishing high school. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't rest on your morals and, and just yeah. expect it to all happen. I think the coaching staff did a great job last year as well. Um, definitely. Greeny definitely. has definitely helped our attack and my attack as a player. And then Rush and BMAC um, – like well, defensively, the defense helps you. Yeah, defensively, well. I, I know our structures now, and we haven't really had that stable for a couple of years. And um, yeah, obviously, adds you overlooking everything. So, how do you, um, like Croak said, like how do you, I guess, deal with that in game? Because you know, you know, especially when we're on the run, and 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 now you've won the Daly M, you know, and look, you've always had a bit of a target on your back being in our team. They know that how dangerous you are. Um, as Croak said, you know, winning the Daly M, you know, it just puts it into a whole another level. How do you deal with that on the field? Are you hoping, like, are you doing things to make sure that you're putting yourself in the position to be successful, or are you just letting the game come to you and being patient with it and making sure that sort of you know mm. those chips fall where they may type thing? Uh, I think it's being patient. Yep. Um, I do like to be in the game, and uh, like to be honest, being in the game is just like you can do that both defensively and in attack, and it's yeah. just making sure I'm in the right positions when I need to be, and I sort of know where that is now. Yeah. I can still evolve and I, I know like around the rock and things like that, I can still be a better player. Mm. Um, but I think the players around me also help that. Like we've got, we've got talent, we've got, um, we've got everything there really. You know what I mean? Like we've yeah. got great players around me. So I don't feel like I have to go outside of the box and do something special. Yeah. And I just have to do my role and off the back of that, you know, moments will happen. Um, but yeah, we've, I've got it, we've got everything there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's really yeah, for just sure. on us now as players. Yeah. When we cast our minds back to the ten game streak, do you have a favourite out of them all? Because there's some good ones to pick from. Do I have a favourite? And I'll remind you, it started with the Bulldogs game where you went yeah. eleven from eleven, broke another record in goal kicking. Oh, I think. And then the Melbourne game was in the mix. The there. Melbourne. I was going to say the Melbourne one. And then there was the three sellouts in a row. I think I would say the Melbourne one. Definitely won. You broke an eight-year losing streak. That's why. I had yeah. never won against Melbourne. So. Yeah. Um, and to do it at home and to do it the way we did. Yeah. Um, I feel like you guys got your res- the respect you deserved yeah, after you that mean. game too. Like we were down 12 nil early. Heavy. In yeah, past early, games yeah. against Melbourne, we had that some, would have we made... played like yeah. dogs twice before yeah. that. I think Tigers. 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 Who, who weren't going respectfully Canberra great. on the road. Canberra on the road. Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. weren't going great it was yeah, 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 but yeah. um at, at the time yeah, yeah yeah so we were you know we, yeah and so to, to go then and knock off melbourne it kind of springboarded us yeah. into that back end of the year so i think that was important and in one. the fashion we did it i think was yeah yeah it was pretty, pretty yeah, yeah tough when we scored like three in the last 10 minutes of the second half when mm. Mitzi scored one yeah uh Braddy scored one yeah. and i felt like previous to that you guys were trying stuff and stuff was working it just lacked that little bit of polish that one pass had to stick or that one thing had to work and then once that thing happened really yeah it started to sort of yeah it was there yeah all there but we couldn't just we couldn't make it click in that game we did yeah Um, always that was that was sick yeah true kids leading the the team song the semi yeah yeah Yeah. let's think about let's talk about the shark one i did my shoulder so i was off it oh yeah 
Yeah. And so I couldn't really enjoy it. Like, I, I was off that game. Well, we won, but yeah. I was just like... I was up and I down. I thought I wasn't going to be able to play. Because <laughs> yeah, like, oh, so. when you did it, I was like, oh, no. Oh, and man. then you were like, I'm staying. I'm like, no, nah, he's okay. And then Kat kept coming out to you. And I'm like, is he all right or is yeah. he not all right? <laughs> What's well, going like, on here? If there's nothing wrong with me and I go off, yeah. then I... It's not a good look. It's yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. It's actually your worst fear as a footballer. Like you miss training or, you or something, th you think and something's you're like, wrong. Yeah. You're like, look, I just can't get through it. I have to go for a scan, and then like the scans wait, and you're like, please, please, be catastrophic. Yeah. <laughs> I sort well, of <laughs> hope there's an injury. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope there's not, but I hope there <laughs> is. Like, <laughs> it's a bit. Yeah, because if if you come back and they go, oh, and they go, oh, all clear, you just go, oh, <laughs> oh sorry, boys, bit of carry on. <laughs> I've let everyone down. <laughs> bit of carry on, boys. But I can play next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, fast forwarding. Um, we've got, you know the advantage that we have here on Knights HQ is that we have our playing group on the podcast. Um, what did you guys see in the Canberra game and things we can work on and things we're going to take into this week and go you know, from what, what we can the do? Supporters point yeah, well, there, I wasn't yeah. out there. I was um, still out just due to a weird injury. But his um, tooth. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wisdom tooth? It's embarrassing. <laughs> he's, missed, he's missed eight weeks because of his nah. <laughs> Oh, he's a funny guy. <laughs> funny guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's good, isn't he? He's good. Eh? We're gonna leave that alone. <laughs> um, but no, it, it, uh, I thought it's not. It's not as bad. It's not all bad. Yeah, you know, some good parts of the game. I just think maybe we're playing the wrong style for this time of the year. Might be easier for Kay to comment because he was out there, but that's just sort of what I've seen and what I've sort of seen back in review and stuff. And yeah. Mm. Look, it's, it's round one. Are you talking about like keeping it simple yeah, and yeah, that type of thing? Yeah. Probably, probably, probably going for that big kill rather than death by a thousand cuts. If that yeah, makes sense, yep, you know, yep. just sort of keep plugging away, plugging away as you should do in early rounds of the season. But uh, I'm not too sure how it felt out there. Um, no, I think you summarised it well. Um, this this time of the year, you have to build foundations. Uh, like we've obviously done that in the preseason, but you need to set them in the first few rounds. And we just went out there. And we thought we were going to play the way we played at the back end of last year, expansive footy, throwing it around. Yeah. It's not the way you play footy at the start of the season. And that's how Canberra, you know, that, they did the opposite of that. And that's Canberra's game. Um, yeah, we needed to manage the game better. Looking back, if you look back at our, our effort and our connection as a team, it's there. Yeah. So we just made too many errors. We dropped the ball. We didn't, we didn't appreciate the footy. Um, yeah. And look, yeah, well, obviously, after the game, you go and say, you know what, it's round yeah. one, we've got plenty left. Yeah. In saying that, we would have liked a performance in front of our home crowd yeah. Yeah. for round one. Especially because um, we've been working for four months. Yeah, mm. 100%. So then it leads, it leads to being good at home. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, so we, we do understand we've let the fans stand down. Um, like. But as a playing group, you know, we're not... No, we're not sitting here saying like, yeah. "Oh, we're gonna have a terrible season." You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. Like, there's, there's a lot of positive to take out of it, and I hope take out the result. I hope that the fans can see that too. I've got a question here. Here we go. Well, and it's okay. written from Jimmy, and it says, um, "Tell us about your bromance with Will, Will Price." Now, I don't know if it's a, exactly a bromance. <laughs> well, my son. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's our, our son. All of ours. <laughs> Our, you, know, of our son. you know on forms where you go like parent or guardian Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to have to start writing guardian for him I'll cook for him every night Like me and Dil Lucas He's around at our house Like some, some mornings I'll wake up If I go to bed early I'll wake oh, up And there he's asleep on the lounge <laughs> Just like he got hair crooks in like that <laughs> hey, hey, He just can't He just can't oh, Chris, Chris what are you doing tonight? He's oh, so lovable though You can't I'll go Brady Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, uh, I'll go Brady What are you doing tonight? Oh no nothing You got pricey over <laughs> 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 It's just over there, and Buddy's as rat's ass as he is. So yeah. it's usually just me and Dills cooking for <laughs> an army of boys after a big preseason day. What's your thoughts on L William Price? No, nah, we love him. We do love him. We, we were just having a laugh then, but um, his energy. I thought. I think he's he's coming to our culture and he's added um, both on the field and off the field. Um, yeah, he's just a, he's just a good bloke. He's genuine, which I think is the reason why he's not annoying. Yeah. Um, He's a genuine person and he does mean you know, most of the things he says. Yeah. He's ex gets excited about everything. Um, yeah. And he, he, he played pretty good footy in the trials. Mm. Um, so I, like, I'd like to see him you know, keep, yeah, growing keep growing and, yeah. and, and playing good footy. And yeah, hopefully he can do that. He had me in stitches yesterday. Um, the, the news crews were there filming you guys warm up. And you guys were on the, um, like the resistance 
running bands, thing, yeah, and he's just put it on. Oh, mate. Hates the camera. Oh, mate. Please. He's built for it. What about when... Croaks is trying to concentrate on what he was doing, and he just started losing it. What about when we have, like, um media days? He's like, oh... Not the media days again. <laughs> We're going pricey. What are you talking about? He loves them. You're there from start to finish and the rest. <laughs> All right, well, He's nah. a good man. He's a good man. Here's what we'll do, right? We'll just take a quick break and we'll be back with a couple of fan questions. Welcome back to Knights HQ podcast, the official podcast of the NIB Newcastle Knights. We're here with Kalen Ponga. Mate, we're going to go get some... F- we've got some fan cues. We put mm-hmm. up a little story on our Instagram account uh, early today. and We've got some people writing in. So first, and look, I know we've got a list here, but I'm just going to kind of go a bit off yeah. the uh, script. Uh, from official Jaden Hall, who has the best drip in world sport, in, in your world, opinion? World sport. What avenue are we going to go down here? Is it NBA route? Yeah, it is. I like Booker. Booker's yep, but yep. it's out. Devin Booker. Very Booker clean. Team. <laughs> Booker team. <laughs> That's Jack Hetherington's favorite person alive. I'm pretty really? sure he loves Booker Devin, T so much. Uh, <laughs> Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Is, Phoenix uh, Suns. Yeah, player. he's probably a little bit of an inspiration for me, just because he's it's just simple, clean. Yeah, yeah he's is that he's Kendall's man. Yeah, oh, one of uh, I think, of. but we'll he's yeah, his signature shoe. He's, they've put out his Bit signature different. shoe. Yeah, but it's clean, simple. It is clean. That's him. He drives down like in low riders to the yeah, game. Yeah, He's yeah. a bit old school. And stuff. Yeah, You're yeah. into that. Who, who's, who would be your answer? Oh. See, I'm super biased though, man. I'm, uh, I love Celtics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> Celtics. And it, and they, won't, they won't be good. It's dude. Larry Bird from the 70s <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, bro. Jorts. Yeah. I'm My favourite non-Celtic at the moment is Anthony Edwards from the Timberwolves. Mm. He's a he's a killer that guy there. man. He's a killer. You want to know someone who I've just come across who's got good style is Cheeto Vera. He got his face punched yep. off by Sugar on the weekend, yeah. but he has got good style. You know why? Really good style. You know why I like him? Yo, because of the contingent of the amount of fans from where he's from. Ecuador. Like, Ecuador. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he be, did yeah. a whole separate bunch of interviews in Spanish or whatever oh, yeah, his yeah, native yeah, yeah. language is. Yeah. Um, and no one's ever done that. Oh. They normally just go English and then they subtitle it or put whatever. And he was like, no, no, because I know how much it means to the fans there and stuff. I'm going to do two separate lots of yeah. things. So, so that's cool, yeah. man. He's got, like <laughs> <laughs> He's got a chin like me. He's got a chin like me. Did you see that knee? <laughs> that that would have retired that me. Knee. <laughs> I mean, that, like, that's, that knee. That would have retired me. He's the worst sound I've ever heard in a UFC fight. Like the way Dude. it's... Oh. I, I watched a TikTok oh. this morning of a fan at like a whatever you know mma con somewhere in america yeah. and he meets john jones and he's like can you kick me in the leg because i want to know how it feels and in, john jones kicks him in the leg and then it cuts to him with I've crutches in the hospital <laughs> man. and when he gets kicked he's like thanks bro and he's kind of like hopping like trying to be tough and then it cuts to him at like the emergency in the hospital oh, like it wouldn't funny. be fun man those guys are no joke all right uh this one comes from uh, elijah Witcher, I'd say. His yeah, name Witcher. How big of a boost is it going into the 2024 season knowing you have the Dalian M? Or do you not think about it that way? Haven't been. No, nah, it's def- I don't really think about it other than when people mention it to me. And yeah. it, I, that's, I think that's a good thing, to be honest. It's, again, like I said, it's not about, I, I want to be the best version of myself for this team. Uh, the beauty of, I think, this team heading into 2024 is we've, we went through last year. We know our structures. We know our shapes. We know what works for us. Obviously, we need to we need to execute. And there's parts of the game that we were p- poor on the weekend. But um, it's 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 nice to go into a season knowing all of that. Yeah. Whereas I've, we've gone into past seasons and three rounds and we switch we just change things up and whatnot. So that's the beauty of 2024, and it's it's got nothing to do with the Delium. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I find that be the answer. Um, here's one from someone that you may know, uh, a Bradman Best. Uh, he's written in, what was the best night of your life in the shed? <laughs> and shed is in capitals. And we will not <laughs> elaborate on that. I've got one because I'm a fan. <laughs> Have you got any new tattoos lately? Not since last year. What was your latest one? Was it the one on your back? Yeah, yeah. It's made with love. Yeah, actually yeah. it was. yeah. I want to get I want to get my back eventually done, and I've got some ideas, but I don't know how I'm gonna piece them around. Very Bailey Smith areas, isn't it? Mm, very. Are you very a hot boy sort of thing? <laughs> is, are, are you like a? I'm gonna sit there and take the pain, or are you a? 
you know how like some rappers are getting like put under anesthetic and that oh, put sleep that. while they have like you four people that. on their back yeah, and stuff. I've seen yeah, that. yeah. Have you seen that? That would be expensive. Yeah, they put yeah. them to sleep. So they literally it's like going into surgery. They do like full legs. Well, that's how they get a full body tattoo in like a week because they full leg sleeves and that. Yeah, yeah. Joe, you got some ink. Yeah, but I I'm. Is that through year, uh, over years? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a just regular Joe, it. man. I, I can't it, afford just, to be put under yeah, sleep. Just yeah. adding time a fair bit here yeah. and there, eh? That's what I'll keep doing, I reckon. Yeah. I'll, I'll slow down a, a little bit. My house has got some ink. Yes. yes. Four sleeves in that house. Four sleeves. What? You, what Three of them. Have you got a tattoo? I don't think you do. No, nah, I've got little ones just pop, yeah. like little yeah. home jobs. Yeah. I've been meaning to get one for ages, but I just keep putting it off. What are you going to get? I'm going to get two dates on my hand. But a hand that's a big can we, do a, can we do like a pole thing? Yeah. What should Matt Croker get tattooed? Oh, or no, hand no, tats? No, yes, no, no. yes or no. Well, Jay's got a hand tat. Yeah. But mine are like, hey, I've, got my, I've got my wife and kids. This, yeah, well, this was going to be mum and dad's date. Yeah, yeah. I think and once I'll, you get it, it'll be like, oh. But then it'll go away. You know, like, Pricey has hand tats and we don't yeah, even. Yeah, no one. can't yeah. even really. But the thing is, I don't have anything else. Like, I don't. Yeah. Technically, I've got finger tats. Yeah. But, Anyway, all right, last one, mate, last one, and we'll let you go. Let's get to the beach or something. <laughs> what does a normal day in the life look like for Kayla and Ponga? Normal day, Sage. Let's go, let's go a day a off. A day off? Yeah. So you've, wo- you've woken up. Sage will wake me up anywhere between five and six. If it's if it's the closer end to five, get away. Yeah. But if it's like quarter to six, I'll get up, take it to the beach. I'll take it down to Dixon now till seven. And then I come home. Sunny boy. And your chef has your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a coffee coffee yeah, at the yeah. beach in the morning? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Um, uh, I was waiting for it. I forgot yeah. what I was. <laughs> yeah, so, so Dixon, so, Sage. So, yeah, so coffee, coffee, coffee Dixon, almond latte. Um, go home, <laughs> pack my bag. Oh, sorry. Was, Just in case. Oh, it's a day off. No, oh, actually, no, I can sort of chill. I'll still go down there early. Yeah. Take stage down there. The boys will come down at some point. We'll chill down there for a little bit. Probably try and do something like in around between like 10 and 1. We're like, talking recovery wise. If there's something I need to do, like oh, if yeah, it's like yeah. meet with my dad or yeah. do that, like do those sort of things. Bit of life admin. Bit of life, bit of admin. life, yeah. bit of life admin. Um, and then in the Arvo, I'll try and do like recovery. Um, he's, he- he's heavy on your sauna at the moment. Well, heavy you got sauna. you got the you got the ice Reach bath yourself, in ice there bath. too, man. Heavy sauna, yeah. yeah so yeah. into it too, recovery center. Um, yeah, so just could be used for all different things that like recovery could center, couldn't it? Just getting the mind and body yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. Um, so versatile. Yeah. Yeah. Very. So do that in the Arvo, and then I'll always try and have dinner at six. So I like to have dinner early, and then. At have my dessert at like seven thirty, which is just yogurt <laughs> and <laughs> yogurt, strawberries, and a box and of Maltese. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty like I, tr- I do try and keep it all the same. Yeah, yeah. Like gotcha. I like to ha- keep it bit of routine. Yeah, yeah. But like now that the in s- it's in season, I mean pre season's like it's every day go, is go, exactly go. the same. In season's a little bit different because we travel and whatnot, but yeah, tr- still try and keep it all the same. Um. Cool. That's us, man. That's us. Thank it's you. So good to be doing this with you. It actually man. did feel nice. It, yeah. It, it, a little check in. Yeah. Little checkpoint. Hey, go on. Bit nostalgic. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It, it has been nice, boys. And thanks for having me on. Yeah. I wish you all the best this year. Thank you. And you I, hope, I hope you get a everyone. Buddy. Everyone in here. Everyone. I the goals everyone. we've got. Everyone. I hope you've you get a goals. medal and a ring, and we all get rings. Oh. That'd, yeah. That's the goal. That's we the all goal. get rings. Trophies would be cool, man. One hundred percent. See you, brother. Uh, what, are we, what are we doing with the hair? Yeah. What are we? Are, are you we, sick and tired of people asking you are about we that? Sticking with this. So it's a talking point. It's are a, we yeah, sticking yeah. with it. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> yep. I've had great feedback on yep. it. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> so. so. <laughs> So, <laughs> so I Whoa, think it's going to so. stay for the 2024 season. I'm going to try my best to keep it going. Okay. What's I the l- upkeep like at the moment? I like it where it is now. Yeah. I don't like when you go the heck go full bleach. Yeah, but I have to go through different Yeah, places, I know. It's, it's Are we in a purple a patch week. at the moment? Is this yeah, the just, perfect uh, spot? I think that, yeah. yeah it's a okay. bit of a fade. Yep. And that'll last for a week and yep. then I'll shave it back and do it again. So it's about a three to four week process. Do we have like an over under on how many other players are going to follow suit? Oh, so I'd take a few. Overs is full of Overs gold. Yeah. Oh, pricey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pricey. Yeah. pricey copied yeah. me. Jacko yeah. copied Jacko me. Jacko copied me. Kurt Mann copied you. Kurt Mann. But I think it was a. Midlife crisis. 
No, he got like one of those penalties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he right, chose it himself. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right, that one. <laughs> um, um, but there's, I saw a couple in Zach Herring. Herring. <laughs> Zach Herring. <laughs> yeah. Very influential man. Me. I wasn't the yeah. one that started it. Yeah. But yeah. Some, some what do you reckon, Croaks? Are you going to no get on board, bro? No I, thought it, I, I tried to get I wanted to try, but I said, No, no good. What nah. to do? My dad, it, my dad wouldn't speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I had an eyebrow slit. Yeah. And my dad, oh. No good. Yeah, it was heckos. Yeah. We weren't talking for a bit there. Until wow. it grew back. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd look good. I don't yeah. think so. Not at all. That's another no poll. Way. Should Croaks no uh, yeah. bleach his hair? I don't really poll. care for these polls because I'm not going to listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got time for. Thanks, Kay, mate. We appreciate Thanks, it. Boys. Just remember you can leave a review at Knights HQ Podcast on YouTube and wherever you get it. So make sure you do that. Yep. Or Apple Podcasts, Spotify, leave a review. Uh, all of these episodes are on uh, YouTube. So make sure you ring the bells, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. We appreciate your support. Once again, Kay, thanks for coming in, mate. This has been Knights yeah. HQ Podcast. Cheers.